The Samnite Cavalry was the cavalry force deployed by the warlike Samnites of central Italy. Although not famed for their horsemanship, the Samnites seem to have had a fascination with horses, as well as mounted warfare in general, especially when considering their neighbours in the south of Italy. As mentioned before, the Samnites are not exactly famed for their cavalry, they are instead more famous for their highly mobile and skilled skirmish infantry, noticeably the Astati Samniticae and the Samnite Milites. However, they seem to have had a fascination with horses, especially when it comes to art. We have found multiple belt buckles decorated with horse heads, as well as a few frescoes portraying Samnites riding horses. We know these are Samnites and not other Italian locals, as the riders are very clearly wearing bronze belts, a cultural piece of clothing most associated with the Samnites. Now this does seem a bit strange. Usually, when talking about mountainous warrior societies, such as the Greeks for example, we often conclude that there is just isn't enough fertile land to raise horses. This was why the Thessalonians of Greece had a monopoly on the horse trade, as it was only them that had suitable farmland for horse breeding. The rest of Greece was surrounded by mountains. Weirdly, the Samnites mountains and territories seem to have been fairly fertile, allowing large flocks of sheep, cattle and even horses to be reared. It also turns out that the Samnites neighbours had a reputation for cavalry. Somewhat out of the blue, the Tarentines, Greek colonists on the very foot of Italy, suddenly became famed for their skirmisher cavalry, with some battalions even being hired out as mercenaries back on the Greek mainland. The Samnites had regular contact with the Greeks, mostly through raids, so at one point or another they were probably exposed to this type of warfare. Arms and Armour Surprisingly, we can take quite a well-informed, educated guess as to how Samnite cavalry raiders were armed. We have a quite detailed fresco depicting a fully decked out cavalryman that was painted on a tomb in Nola. This, together with several other artistic depictions of Samnite cavalry, means we can piece together what was the norm for Samnite raiders going to war. For body armour, the Samnites seem to have preferred the three disc curias for cavalrymen. The three disc curias, also known as the Samnite curias, was a type of body armour worn by Samnite cavalry. It consisted of three overlapping round metal plates or discs, which protected the chest, back and sides. The plates were connected by leather straps or hinges allowing for flexibility and mobility while riding a horse. The three disc curias was preferred by Samnite cavalry because it offered excellent protection while still allowing for mobility and flexibility. The overlapping plates provided a high degree of coverage while the gaps between them allowed for airflow and reduced the weight of the armour. This made it easier for the cavalry to ride and manoeuvre their horses while wearing armour. Some Samnites decorated their body armour, including the three disc curias, with intricate designs and embellishments that reflected their cultural and artistic traditions. One common decorative feature of Samnite armour was the use of hammered metal plates to create the illusion of muscles on the wearer's chest and torso. Similar to the Greek muscle curiasque, the Samnite muscle plates were hammered into the shape of pectoral muscles, giving the wearer a more imposing and intimidating appearance on the battlefield. These plates were typically made from bronze, iron or a combination of the two, and were often adorned with decorative motifs and patterns. In addition to the muscle plates, Samnite armour was also decorated with other decorative elements such as embossed designs, incised patterns, and inlaid precious metals or stones. These decorations were not only intended to enhance the appearance of the armour, but also to demonstrate the wealth, status and skill of the wearer. 
For helmets, the Samnites seem to have preferred the Attic Helmet. The Attic Helmet was a type of helmet worn by ancient Greek soldiers and was characterised by its large curved shape that protected the head and neck. This helmet was made of bronze and consisted of two main parts, the bowl-shaped crown and the cheek pieces, which protected the sides of the face. The Greeks had a significant influence on the Samnites, who borrowed many of their military tactics and equipment. The Samnites preferred the Attic Helmet over other types of helmets because of its excellent protection and versatility. The large curved shape of the helmet provided excellent protection for the head and neck, while the cheek pieces protected the sides of the face. The helmet also had a wide brim that protected the eyes and face from the sun, rain and other environmental hazards. In addition to its functionality, the Attic Helmet was also highly decorative, often adorned with intricate designs and embellishments. The Samnites were known for their artistic traditions and the decoration of their helmets was a reflection of this. The helmet's decoration also served as a symbol of the wearer's status and skill in battle. While the Samnites were heavily influenced by Greek culture in many aspects, they had a distinct piece of armour that was uniquely their own, the bronze belt. This iconic piece of armour was a large bronze belt that was wrapped around the waist and hooked onto itself, with the hooks adorned with horse designs sacred animals in Samnite culture. The Samnite bronze belt was more than just a functional piece of armour. It was a powerful symbol of the Samnite warrior's identity and culture. Only the wealthiest and most prominent members of Samnite society could afford to wear such a belt, making it a status symbol. The horse designs on the hooks also symbolised the Samnite's deep connection to these animals, which were considered powerful and noble. The Samnite bronze belt was a crucial part of the warrior's attire, as it held together their armour and weapons, including their sword and scabbard, but it also symbolised their readiness for battle, and it was only worn during times of war or when they were training or preparing for battle. The Samnite cavalry was known for their proficiency in using javelins as their primary weapon. These javelins were shorter and lighter than regular spears, and were designed for throwing, the depictions of these javelins in ancient Samnite artwork and archaeology suggest that they were somewhat flimsy looking, with thin shafts and small narrow heads. Despite this appearance, the javelins were still effective weapons in the hands of skilled Samnite cavalry. In Battle The Samnites' cavalry's use of javelins suggests that they were a skirmish cavalry. Skirmish cavalry was a type of cavalry used for hit and run tactics, harassing the enemy with quick and sudden attacks before retreating. The use of javelins was ideal for this type of warfare, as the Samnite cavalry could quickly throw the javelins and then retreat before the enemy could retaliate. This type of hit and run warfare was also ideal for the Samnites, who were often outnumbered in battles and relied on tactics and strategy to win. The Samnite cavalry played a crucial role in the Samnites army's use of skirmish warfare tactics. They were skilled in horsemanship and were trained to ride their horses while throwing javelins at the enemy. This allowed them to engage in hit and run attacks on the enemy, harassing them from a distance and then retreating before the enemy could retaliate. The Samnite cavalry also used their horses to quickly move around the battlefield and provide support to other units. In addition to their cavalry, the Samnite army also employed infantry units in their skirmish warfare tactics. These infantry units were typically light and fast moving, armed with spears or javelins. They were trained to quickly move around the battlefield and engage in hit and run attacks on the enemy. The Samnite infantry also employed tactics such as feints and ambushes to confuse and outmaneuver the enemy. The Samnite army's use of skirmish warfare tactics allowed them to overcome much larger and better equipped armies on several occasions. Their hit and run attacks and use of tactical maneuvers allowed them to surprise and outmaneuver their opponents, leading to decisive victories. 
the Samnite Cavalry's ability to quickly move around the battlefield and provide support to other units was also crucial to the army's success. In conclusion, the Samnites were skilled in the use of skirmish warfare tactics on the battlefield, relying on hit and run attacks and tactical manoeuvres to overcome their opponent. The Samnite Cavalry played a crucial role in this type of warfare, using their horsemanship skills to quickly move around the battlefield and harass the enemy. Thank you for watching and listening to our videos. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe if you've enjoyed. Or if you really like the channel, consider supporting us on Patreon. There, for as little as $1 a month, you'll gain access to an ever-expanding variety of exclusive Ancient History Guy content not found anywhere else online. All donations go directly back into the channel, helping us on our campaign to conquer YouTube. All sources are listed and linked in the description below. I've been the Ancient History Guy, and as always, I'll be seeing you later.